Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. Regrowth with myself, Lewis. It'll be brilliant. Having yourself a great day. As always, hope you had a very nice May Day. And uh, May the 4th had been with you. It was, it was a good day for me. Hopefully you had a good one as well. Now, today, we're going to carry on where we left off in the last episode, pretty much. I think what we're going to do, because some of you let me know that the problem with what we're trying to do in the runic altar in the last episode was that we was using some cactus from AgriCraft, and it gave it a bit of a weird metadata. So I've done what you said, I've gone and planted it, and picked it up again, I broke it and picked it up, and it gave us the regular 81 ID for the cactus. So that should now work. That's going to be the plan. Let me grab some sand. There we go. So we needed two bits of sand. Let's have a look inside here because we actually wanted to make a particular type of hive, didn't we? So I think it's this one, this one. There it is. So two sand cactus, essence of earth, essence of air. And then we needed the bees. We needed a princess. So we'll just grab a princess. And we needed three of these. Yeah, good stuff. All right, so hopefully this will allow us to do that now. So we'll do that. Oh, gun stuff's blowing up. <laughs> and you. And then a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. <laughs> it's still not working. Oh, I didn't put my cactus on there. Oh, <laughs> okay, dokey. There we go. Good stuff. So that's going to do that for us. Very happy that that's not working. So thank you very much. For those of you that let me know in the comment section, I had wonky cacti. So I will pop you on there. And... Oof. One modest hive. Very nice. So that should now allow us to complete our quest. So if we have a little looky-see inside here. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe there's something else we need to do. It would be inside what the world is built from. No? What the world... Life? No. Encoding? Hey, there we go. All right. So we needed a meadows hive, which I believe is done by chucking it in here, I think. But let's just uh, check. So forest hive, unusual hive, never hive, rock hive, water hive, marshy, winter, ender, tropical, modest. So I think what we do is we just keep throwing it in here until we get a meadows hive. I think that's the plan. So we'll chop it in. We get all the different types of hives, which is good. Until we get to the one we're after. Meadows hive. Hey, all right. And that gives us tropical hives, two more meadows, and two more forest hives. Lovely jubbly. And with these, we'll now be able to go and break them with our scoop and get ourselves some lovely biz. And I think I'm probably going to break a scoop doing this. So we'll just grab a couple more, but we'll pop these guys down. There we go, we'll give them a slap. And that will give us loads of hive goodness. Now, another thing that we're going to do today is... And I'm going to give you a disclaimer right now. <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit cheaty. <laughs> and, uh, you know, some people don't like it when I do that. But if it saves me from having to deal with the dryness that is the dreamed world, or the dream dimension, whatever it is... From witchery, then uh, then I'm going to do it, <laughs> because I really can't be bothered. Uh, but basically, in the dream world, all of the ores do actually spawn there. So here you don't get any ores, but in the dream world you do get ores. We need to make ourselves a brew of flowing spirit. That would mean that I would need to collect the ores to be able to make the kettle, and then I'd have to get the uh, seeds, again, by kind of doing it this way, to do that. So it's not a huge amount of work, but it is just pretty boring. <laughs> I'm just going to go and say that right off the bat. So I'm going to kind of cheese it a little bit, now, someone did tell me that you can use a knapsack. So I made myself a knapsack, and it turns out the knapsack doesn't work. So we, uh, you know, I tried. It, it doesn't work. I, I'm pretty sure I, you know, I was pretty definite it didn't work because we tried that in uh, Blood and Bones, and it didn't work. Now, when you go there, it just doesn't allow you to access your Tinker's inventory. Actually, I can, I can show you this right now. So if we grab our Wand of the Forest, and we pop that inside here, let me make sure I've got some icy needles. I believe I have. Yes. And actually, I'm going to make sure it is icy because I always forget if it's icy or not. And we want our brews of sleeping. Let's make sure we actually get the right dimension this time. Hopefully, we'll do. We've got our stuff around us. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. So now that we got here, you can see I can't access any of these. 
<laughs> so we can't do that, unfortunately. And uh, the only thing that we can access is our balls inventory. So that was kind of knocked on the head because there used to be a way that you could get away with doing it, but you can't now. So I'm going to, you know, that kind of led me on to a little bit of an idea. I had a bit of a brainwave because I remembered that there is actually another Tinker's Construct item that gives you an inventory. And I was wondering if if we can't access the Tinker's inventory, well, how am I going to go about getting into the inventory? And then I remembered that I can actually access it with the click of a button, but not the knapsack, something else. So we're going to use that. Now, <clears throat> like I said, if you don't like this type of stuff, then I probably wouldn't watch this episode. Because <laughs> that's pretty much what we're going to do. But let's open these bags up first. See what we get. We've got some diamonds. We've got some potions of invisibility. We've got ourselves some chain boots, gold coins, and a couple of pieces of a guild, which is very nice. We'll pop these in here. We're actually done for all of the farm craft stuff for now, but, you know, we might come back and visit at some point. But, yeah. Oh, man, did I put that in the wrong one? I did, didn't I? I want to try and keep it all in the same one. There we go. Good stuff. All right. Well, you know, we got a pretty good haul from all the things that we got, though, which is... Alright, I guess. Let's have a look to make sure if we have actually got any more quests after that. I think that's that. You know, there's a lot of quests that haven't... Uh, have we done these? Yeah, we have. There's a lot of quests that haven't been fleshed out yet, but it's still in alpha. There's going to be stuff added over time. So, shall we give this a little go? Now, we're going to need to get ourselves a kettle, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make another kettle because it's easy that way. And to do this, we're going to need an attuned stone, we're going to need some sticks, we're going to need some string. So let's make our way out over this way, and we'll grab some of those. So we need two sticks, and we needed free string. Cool, cool. And we'll make ourselves a kettle. Oh, we need ourselves a cauldron as well, don't we? So let's get some, uh, some of this. Great success. And you can go back in there. Good stuff. All right, so let's get ourselves a kettle. Cool. And we want to get ourselves some uh, some Neverack. And I think I might still have my flint and steel on me. Yeah, we need that. So I'm going to pop that in there. I'm going to pop that in there. I'm going to pop that in there. And... That looks good so far. I'm actually going to pop that in there. <laughs> so you're probably thinking in a minute, what are you doing? <laughs> just wait. Just wait. It'll all make sense soon enough. So we need those. Now, to make ourselves a brew... Uh, what is it called? Spirit? Something or another? Brew of the Spirit? To make ourselves a brew of flowing spirit, we need a wool of bat and a mandrake root. So let's just start getting these together. So wool of bat and a mandrake root. And we also need... A glintweed and a water artichoke. So, glintweed and an artichoke. Cool, cool. And the last two things is a Spanish moss and a fanciful thread. So, we'll just grab ourselves some Spanish moss right now. And fanciful thread, I think, is four of these and a whiff of some description. Let's just have a look. All right, yeah, wispy cotton. We need a string and an odor of purity, which is this one i believe yes and some string let's see if we've already got some string in there might do no okay that's fine we got some in here no all right let's get ourselves some string cool, cool. and we'll uh, we'll get this all together so it was something like string and that stuff and then we add our wispy cotton all right so that should do that for us which is very nice. Let's have a little slippers, because I don't want loads of zombies and guys coming out. That would kind of suck. There's actually been a load of updates for this now. I'm looking here. I just, you know, sometimes I like reading a little update things just to see what's going on. About. Apparently in the world of uh, Nevers, from what I read, silverfish uh, or the hellish silverfish are spawning when the world generates. Did you know that? I didn't know that, but apparently they are. <laughs> apparently it's been fixed now. So there is that. Fanciful thread. So I think we have everything we need. We do need, as well... Some bottles, and we're going to need a few of these, really. Now, I think one of those is enough to fill it up. Yeah. All right, so we're going to put you in there. <laughs> put you in there. You, you, you. Glintweed, Spanish moss, 
the uh, icy needles will come with us anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. We've got our water, which is good. There's actually already loads of water there anyway, so we don't have to really worry about that. But that gives us those. What else are we going to need? Well, we're going to need as well some uh, battles. So we'll grab ourselves some battles from over this way. And there we go. We'll grab actually a few of these. Cool, cool. And we might as well put on our witch's robes while we're at it. There we go. We're going to probably look a little bit funky right now. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at my little belt and my wings. That looks so cool. I love it. It makes me look like I'm wearing little granddad pants because my uh, trousers come well up past the waist. <laughs> Got it tucked in right there, you know. Extra protection. So that is those ones. And we'll pop you in there. All right, so I think we've got everything we need. We've got the kettle, we've got water, we've got a bucket, we've got all of the items available to make the uh, brew of flowing spirit, as well as glass balls to be able to collect it. We've got our witch's robes so that we can uh, be all witchy and whatnot. Actually, that reminds me, I don't think my clothes transfers with me, does it? So we'll pop those in there as well. And I think that is everything. All right, okay. So here comes the, uh, the, the smart way of doing it. We're going to grab ourselves some leather, and we're going to make ourselves a belt from Traveler's, uh, a Traveler's belt from Tinker's Construct. So we need some aluminium, we need a chest. So let's get ourselves some of this stuff, and hopefully I have enough in here. I think I do. Yes, good stuff. So we'll get a chest, and we'll get some aluminium, which I believe is this one. Yep. And that should be enough to make... A belt. Cool, cool. All right, so <clears throat> that's how it's going to work. When we pop this on, we can push B, and it changes our inventory. So we have uh, two inventories basically now. So we can have it like this, and then we can then we can change it to that. Every time it's going to open the ball will stop because the uh, the buttons mismatch. But that's pretty much <clears throat> how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my white bag like that, and I'm going to put it in there. And then I'm going to uh, switch back <laughs> like this. This is such a such a cheeky way of doing it, but it's going to save me so much time. And I think that's going to do it. It might actually be worth, because I remember last time I was there, there was bad guys, wasn't there? You know what? Before we uh, head out, let's put our sword in there as well. Just in case. And maybe some food. We'll take like half our bread. All right, <laughs> so much stuff. I think that's it now. I think we're good. So let's uh, go ahead and take this out. Switch inventories around. Pop the bag in there. Switch the inventories back. And pray that this works. Uh, let's hope that we actually get the right dimension first as well. E no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. All right, let's try again, I guess. Good dimension, please. That work? Yeah. Did you see he was actually in the middle of getting hit just then from that spectral spirity guy, and he actually still hit us then. How funny was that? So now, <clears throat> if we do this, there it is. There is my bag, and all my things. <laughs> like I said, it's a pretty cheap way of doing it, but you know, if you don't like cheating, then uh, I'd suggest that you, uh, you know, you stopped watching this episode. A little while ago. We don't generally tend to do this sort of stuff, but it just makes my life so much easier. So, okay. Let's do this. So we want to set up our kettle. I'm going to I'm gonna add some little bits around it just so it's, so it's a little bit easier. So we'll do that. <clears throat> and uh, we're actually going to want to go a little bit lower than that, aren't we? Let's grab my pickaxe. And we'll dig into there. Let's get this a going, and a little bit of that. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. We're also going to want our water bucket, so we'll give you a little bit of water. And I think we're good to go. Now, I don't know if we actually have to do these in a particular order. I'm kind of hoping we don't, because I don't actually remember what the order is. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it's going to work. So we want all these things. And you, so we wanted Spanish Moss, Glintweed, Mandrake, Water Artichoke, and Fanciful Thread. If I remember rightly, the actual uh, way it looked when we were getting them 
was something like that, I think. So let's give this a go. So first things first, we needed that. We needed that. We needed that. That. Spanish moss. And fanciful thread. Oh, that looks good. And then we take a swig. Hey! All righty then. We got three brews of flowing spirit. How cool is that? This is exactly what we needed. This should allow us to do the quest. And it also means that we get a much easier, safer passage to the dream world in later episodes if we ever decide to come here. I don't know why we would, <laughs> but there's always the chance to do that. So let's put our stuff back in our bag. We can say goodbye to the dream world for now. Oh man, the stuff not shift click in there. I love these baggins' things because of the tears that you can put them through. It would be really nice if you could shift click stuff in there. So we'll do that. And we will... What are we going to do? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's do this. We'll do that. Oh, no, no. We do want it like that, don't we? Yeah. We'll do that. And the reason I got this idea is because I pushed B and our bauble stuff was still there. And I was like, oh, I wonder. Yeah. And then it came to me. So that's uh, how I came up with the idea. But then we can come back. And we should... If I do this, yes, have Brew of Flying Spirits. Venus, so it worked. We can pop these things back out here now, because we, you know, we can keep hold of these now. We don't need to worry about them all that much. Is there anything in there that we did want? I don't think so. So we can pop you back. Cool, cool. And that should now be... Oh, my witch's stuff stayed there. I forgot to take it off. <laughs> oh, well. I can go back and get that. I knew th I knew there would be something that I forgot to get. Turns out it was that. So that should now allow us to hand this quest in. Which was somewhere around here. The way the world changes. Yeah, there it is. Gives us another two brews. Which is very nice. And we've actually got loads of witchery quests to be doing now. We can only do one of these ones, though, which is one thing. And for these, we do need circles. So we'll have to look through and see which one that we want to do. I might just leave it to you guys, because these are all about... Ba these kind of enhance our player, in a way. So we have Ghost of the Light. One of the options for infusion is light. With this infusion, you can create barriers and platforms from thin air. It's pretty cool, right? The other one is Spirit of the Otherware. So one of the options for infusion is that... Uh, that of the Otherware. This infusion lets you teleport both yourself and other things. We also have this one, Infernal Animus. So one of the options for infusion is Infernal. This infusion allows you to ephral ephral creatures to do your bidding and sacrifice them to gain their abilities. And then we have Soul of the World. So one of the options for infusion is that of the Overworld. This infusion allows the manipulation of earth and metals. Now we can only do one of these. So it says on all of these, only one of these four quests can be completed. And that leaves us onto this little twig right here. So I'm probably going to leave that to you guys. You can decide which one we'll do. Probably in the next episode. We'll get that one out of the way. And then we'll do the uh, charging of the attuned stone. You know, that's pretty easy. We did that in Infinity, like an episode ago, maybe. And then we've got the Bane of Tibbs, which uh, we have to beat here. We have to summon him and we have to beat him. And we'll be good to go. And my altar is almost there now. 9,738. We just need a little bit more. I might actually go and uh, get myself some Cobaldite. But I don't know if I can do that in this world. It's a bit of a strange one. But we have got a uh, a little guy over there. Living over there. We've got a little, uh, little green man. So we might go and have a word with him. But who knows. Now to make our passage a little bit easier. What we're going to do I think. Is... Hmm, where should we put this? Uh, let's put it around here, maybe? We just need a few blocks of it, I think. So if we put, like, one here. There we go. And this does give us regen when we stand in it. Which is pretty good. Gives you regen, too. Not bad. For any of you blood magic people out there, hint, hint, this is what I used to use <laughs> to be able to regen myself. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Although I think now, regen, too, uh invokes the hunger thing so yeah be a little bit careful with that and we'll pop another one like here i don't know how many we can do i can't remember if it's one two or three but we'll do another one like here anyway and uh there we go so we've got a few of those brew of flowing spirits down which is pretty good we can actually use these to make dream weavers and other things so we can make the bark belt 
What does this do? Grow bark pieces when standing on grass or mycelium. Bark pieces mitigate hits. All right, so it basically gives us a little bit of protection, which isn't that bad. And we've got focused will, condensed fear, brew of hollow tears. That sounds horrible. Wow. Well, there it is. So we've managed to do that, which is pretty good. I'm going to pop these guys up inside here. There we go. Let's go and drop these things off over this way. Cool, cool. And let's have a look for our book, see if there's anything else that we can do. But I think we might be calling it for this episode. Uh, I did do some more of the books. If you're wondering earlier why I had a circle talisman in my chest, because I did this one here for circle magic, because we will have to do a little bit of that. Uh, there is climate samples as well. I've never done this before, so I don't know how this works. But basically, we can change the climate. So I think we can change it to like a hot climate or... Who knows? It says here, you'd never think of a book about the various climates that used to exist in the, in the world. Could be useful, but a certain right of the shifting seasons has changed your mind. If you can learn about the biomes that were, that there were, uh, you can invoke a change in climate to emulate them. So I think we can change climates basically by doing that. So that's probably something we might have to do. I don't know. It doesn't open up any other quests. And then we've got this one down here. Which I have no idea what that one is. So maybe that's going to open up something for us. Who knows? We've also got Feeling Salty. And I think I actually have most of these books now. So we might be able to hand that one in. Uh, another thing that I would like to do over the coming episodes is move the fish tank. I want to put it into a better area. I want to get myself some fish eggs and finish up those quests. Because I don't think, if we have a look inside... Where is it? One of these ones has it. I can't remember if it was further down this way. Uh, Life of the World near encoding. Yes. I don't think there's much more after this quest. I think that could literally be it. Because um, there's not much on this page yet. There might be a little bit more, but I don't think it goes off much further. And for that, all we need is some fish eggs. So it shouldn't be that hard. So we can get that. We can finish those ones off. We've done all of the uh, farm craft ones. They're out of the way. How the world changes is our witchery ones. Life of the world isn't going to be that hard because I just need to make all of the eggs. And I've pretty much done a few of those anyway. As well as all of these. And most of these I've actually got. I just uh, I need to hold them in my inventory <laughs> so that I can manual detect them. That is pretty much that. Uh, as well as a few other things. So there we go. But that's going to be that for today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. A little bit of a faster one. I apologize again if you don't really like the, uh, you know, my cheaty nature. I generally don't tend to do that. But you got to admit, Spirit World is pretty dry. I think it's, uh, you know, I think I've gone ahead and cursed myself since I last played Blood and Bones. And I had to redo all my tools again. Ever since then, the, the Spirit World has never been the same for me. <laughs> <laughs> ever since then. But there we go. I'll see you guys soon. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one as always. And bye-bye.